One funnel is the same concept. If it's two backs, remember, y off is counted as two backs. We're going to funnel it. So corners have one. Strong safety to the open side has number two. Now the weak safety is going to drop down, and we're going to say funnel, funnel, funnel. The will linebacker is going to become the middle linebacker in my defense. So he's going to line in the double zero. The weak side safety is going to be the 60 backer. In this case, the free safety is in the middle of the field. The Mike backer is going to be the 40 backer. We are playing a three on two funnel. Funnel is a three on two. Make sense? These three have those two. We play what's called a second back rule. Let me say this again. We play a second back rule. What does that mean? The middle linebacker in the defense always has the second back out. He does not in and out with the outside part of the funnel. So if they went like this, weak side saves is going to take the Y. The Mike's gonna, or the middle linebacker, the Will, is going to push through and take the T. He's the second back out to that side. He's the second person. Does that make sense? Who becomes the rat? The Mike is the rat. So why do we play with the second back rule? If I in and out it, I'm not using the rat. Because if I went like this and pushed it, and the weak safety came off and the will linebacker took him, well shit, the will and the mic have the same position maintenance right now. Does that make sense? I don't expect the will linebacker to know, all right, I pushed it, he went shallow, now I gotta robot it. No, I'm not gonna do that. It doesn't make any sense. What is also gonna happen is I can't play the seven cut. Like, I'm not gonna be able to play the seven cut with the will backer. It's not gonna happen. Does that make sense, the corner route? The weak side safety, I can. So we talk about why do we play cover three versus cover one. If I'm getting a lot of fast three, I'm gonna play more cover three. Because I'm gonna, now I'm gonna push it, flood the coverage to that side. Make sense? But if I don't need to do that, I'm gonna play a bunch of cover one. I'm gonna play a bunch of one funnel. Make sense? So with that concept in mind, Corner has one, corner has one, it's a read a call. Strong safety has two. Weak safety is in the middle of the field. Will, he's in the 40. Mike is the middle backer, he's in the double zero. Now the free safety comes down, and he's part of the funnel. He's the 60. So what we would say is down right or down left funnel. Make sense? If it was the Y was on and it was one back, one gap, we'd say down right, down left, and we'd say solo or invert or whatever. Does that make sense? Or lock. But because Y is off, it's a two back set, we're going to funnel it. Same progression. Here's the other reason in terms of the run game that we play the second back rule. Split zone happens. The will's going to take the first guy out to his side, correct? This free safety is taking the first guy out to his side. Because I play the second back rule, I can always track the back. I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about saying, okay, coach, the back is going this way, but I have to possibly play in and out between the tailback and the Y. I'm always tracking the back because I have second back. Does that make sense? So me as the middle backer, I don't have to worry about trying to push on something like this. Questions, comments, concerns? I love one funnel. Okay, now you can play one funnel with different guys. If I put the strong safety here and I put the free safety here because the matchups, is it still one funnel? Yeah, it's still one funnel. I'm just playing it with buzz, backer, or sky safety. I'm just changing the dudes, but it's the same exact concept. Make sense? 
Cool. Question?